everyone. This is another exciting installment of Spirit Show Me a Sign. It is Tarot Tuesday and this is going to be a general collective reading. Uh, these are messages for anybody who needs a message. Um, it is general so keep an, an open mind. Remember not all of the messages are going to be for every single person who watches. But let's see what Spirit wants to share with us tonight. Spirit, show me a sign. Tarot Tuesday. All right, what do we need to know most? You've got the Spirit. Unseen forces watch over you. Do you ever feel like you're being watched? <laughs> this is giving me the creeps right now. Um... It is uh, late in the evening as I record this, and uh, but it gives me a sense of peace knowing that um, you know we're spiritually guided, we're protected, we are being uh, watched over and cared for by our loved ones and guides on the other side. All right, what else can we know at this time? Spirit, show me a sign. And you got the spirit right off the bat. All right. You've got the Seven of Cups. Eight of Wands, Justice, King of Wands, and then the Two of Pentacles on the bottom. All right. I feel like Somebody's trying to make a decision about something, and I feel like everything's up in the air right now. I feel like somebody's afraid that they're going to make the wrong decision. They've got a lot of options. Uh, somebody here may be um, praying over this, consulting with their guardian angels and spirit guides. Um, and I feel like you are going to receive that divine guidance that you're looking for. Um, you will make the right decision. Um, there is a sense of karmic justice here. But I think once you make your decision, and I, again, I feel like there's a lot of up and down and back and forth about this because you do have the two of pentacles here. Trying to weigh out the pros and cons, seeking balance, um, balancing the head and the heart, balancing your head and your emotions. I feel like somebody might be putting off making a decision. They're just kind of, you know, very wishy-washy about it. Um, I feel like they're trying to keep busy, trying to stay distracted so that they don't have to make a decision. Um, but I feel once the decision is going to be made, somebody's going to be taking action here. Somebody's going to be going after what they want. Um... I feel like there also may be some uh, communication around this decision. Some of you may be going through some legal stuff um, and not taking any action until you get advice from the attorney. Some of you might be thinking that um, this, things are worse than they really are, um, that this is all up in your head, that you're imagining things, or somebody might be trying to convince you that you're imagining things. Some of you may be receiving a message from someone when they've had quite a bit to drink. Somebody could be drunk texting you in the middle of the night. Um, let's see what else is going on here. I'm going to clarify these majors for you. But yeah, there's lots of messages here. And I feel like, you know, somebody is just really... They got some decisions to make and um, 
you know, I feel like you're being advised to slow down. Look at all of the options before you say anything. And trust that you will make the right decision. Why is the spirit here? You've got the lovers. This might have to do with a, a partnership, a romantic connection, a soulmate connection. Could be a third party involved. Some of you could be dealing with a Gemini or a Libra. Um, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, a water sign, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, but this has to be, this has to do with making a, a decision from the heart, choosing love over fear, letting your heart guide you. Okay. This might have to do with a romantic connection. I feel like maybe if you met somebody, maybe it's too soon to tell if it's going to go anywhere. Maybe you're trying to keep your options open and see what, what else is out there before you make a decision. Got the high priestess. She knows. She has this inner knowing. She's magical, mystical, psychic. She has one foot on earth and one foot in the spirit realm. In a man's love reading, she represents a woman that he worships and puts on a pedestal, a woman that he doesn't feel worthy of. She's single. She's mother maiden crone. She's the goddess Artemis, Persephone, Diana. Knowing. She knows when to speak and she knows when to remain silent. She's highly educated. Highly knowledgeable, very spiritual. Some of you could be very single and, you know, just not wanting to really rush into a relationship. Um, some of you may be, some of you might be trying to force you or rush you into marriage. The justice card can represent a legal uh, contract of marriage here on earth as well as a decision or things going your way after you've been treated unfairly. Somebody is kind of pulling back and, you know, going deep within, going, you know, going to spirit, prayer, meditation to make this decision. And then you've got the seven of swords because the high priestess knows she may be single, but she's, she's, been around the block a few times. She knows when somebody's lying to her, trying to deceive her. She's prepared. Her her BS radar is uh, on fleek. She she sees right through the bullshit here. Somebody's being deceptive. Somebody could be hiding a um, third party. Somebody could be secretly keeping a mistress. Somebody could be talking to their ex behind your back, texting them in the middle of the night. Again, this is a general reading. It's a collective reading. So again, not all the messages are going to be for everyone. Trust your intuition and your past experiences to make the best decision for yourself. Tell me about justice. Page of Swords. Yes, yeah, somebody is uh, spying, collecting and gathering information. A Libra could be spying on you. Gemini. Pisces. Cancer. Um... Gathering your knowledge before making a decision, making an educated decision. Okay? Follow your heart, but take your head with you. Use your common sense. Trust your intuition. Learn from your past experiences. Okay? And uh, again, let your heart be your guide and let... Um, 
let your moral compass guide you as well. Do the right thing. You will make the right decision. Have faith in yourself. On the bottom of the clarifying deck, we have the Three of Pentacles. Again, there may have been a third party here that somebody's keeping a secret. Or somebody has a feeling that there might be a third party here. And you're gathering up some information. Um, also, I feel like there's support here. Um, this is somebody that you may have met in a workplace, place of business, um, working together on a project. I feel like there's people that want to cooperate with you. Um, maybe if this is a new connection, you need time to build a foundation. Build this on a strong foundation. Take your time. Don't rush into it. Um, you know, make sure that you're on the same page and they want that they want to cooperate, that they want to work with you, that they're going to be there to support you. Um, if this is an existing connection, I feel like somebody's contemplating marriage or taking it to the next step here. Um, you have a strong foundation built and it's time to continue building on that foundation that you've already established with this person, this connection. Let's get some advice from Spirit. Don't forget, I am available for private readings. Um, you can check out my website if you're interested in booking something. All of my information is down below in the description box. You can also find me on Facebook and Instagram. Um, I hope to get back to doing my Hump Day Love Shack live broadcast soon. October is an extremely busy month for, for us psychic mediums. Um, I have several events uh, going on locally here in the Madison area this month that I'm preparing for. I've also been doing a lot of private readings, which has been keeping me busy. Um, so I do appreciate everyone's patience. Um, I'm going to try to get out as much content as I possibly can um, in between everything else I have going on. So I do appreciate your patience as you, um, you know, wait for, for those uh monthly videos to come out all right so your advice from spirit is ancient ancient ancestry egypt magical inheritance so we do have the high priestess here there's someone here could be you could be somebody else who has always been a high priestess a um, mystic a psychic medium a healer a shaman, whatnot, um, you are using your inherent um, gifts that you've been born with uh, to help other people. Um, the lovers are here. This could be a deep soulmate past life connection that you share with somebody that has incarnated in this lifetime here on earth. All right, let's get some love messages from my very own Soiree Magique Oracle. This is available for purchase. Send me an email if you're interested. It's a beautiful deck that I created um, last year. And um, nobody else has this deck. Um, except me right now, but again, it is available for purchase. If you'd like one, I will have some made for you. All right, first message out is attraction. There's, there's a lot of attraction here with this person, a lot of passion, but I feel like maybe they're dragging their feet and they don't know what they want. They're kind of keeping their options open. They're not showing their hand and they might be trying to keep you in the dark. And um, 
yeah, there needs to be some communication here. I feel like somebody's on an emotional roller coaster here with somebody. And then you've got love letter. All right, well, somebody might be uh, putting some pen to paper here and or texting you. Um, you do have the page of swords here. It could be some immature communication. I feel like somebody may be hiding their real feelings, hiding their attraction for you, but I feel like they're going to express it. Apology. So if there was a third party, somebody might be coming in to apologize. They better be uh, putting on a lot of chapstick because there's going to be a lot of ass kissing going on here. <laughs> Somebody owes you an apology, maybe for keeping you in the dark, maybe for being sneaky, maybe for, you know, maybe having a third party. Maybe they found out the grass wasn't greener on the other side. It was all up in their head. It was an illusion. They had their beer goggles on. I don't know. <laughs> and then you've got beauty. Somebody thinks you are absolutely beautiful. They're attracted to you. They're in love with you, but they might not have told you. They might have been stringing you along, um, hiding their true feelings. Maybe they're going to apologize for putting you through all this unnecessary grief. Underneath, we do have missing you. I feel like they do miss you if you're at a distance. You inspire them. You're their muse. All right. Well... Very interesting. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Uh, let me know how this um, resonates for you. Until I see you again, be the love, be the light. Take care. Bye-bye.